today is a little dark and cloudy. <laughs> We're reading Far Beyond Fear, Part 7. Women, women haiku poets. This is Ino Moto Sifu, 1732-1815. Now, the prior poet we read was said her reputation plummeted, but then it came back, and then this one's reputation in the 20th century went up. Oh, all these reputation stuff. <laughs> Whatever, by the critics. <laughs> Do we have any critics here? <laughs> no critics? We'll read Sifu, and we'll comment later at Daybreak, Speaking to the Blossoms, A Woman All Alone. Hmm. Now she's speaking to the blossoms. At Daybreak, at Daybreak, Speaking to the Blossoms, A Woman All Alone. Now she says, stillness out of the rain, a butterfly roams into my bedroom. <laughs> stillness out of the rain, a butterfly roams into my bedroom. I guess the butterfly is getting out of the rain. Well, it's a, a haiku usually has two phases. It will say something, and then there's a pause, and then there's something else. Stillness. So first there's stillness. Then the turning point. Then there's the turning word. Out of the rain, a butterfly roams into my bedroom. Sort of like the frog sitting there, and then he jumps in. Ha! <laughs> huh. Ah. Huh. Well, rumbles. Wait. What is this? Rumbles from the rocks. Cherry blossom in the moonlight, far from the world of men. You see, this one has the dash, too. First it says, rumbles from the rocks. Then there's a dash, and it says, cherry blossoms in the moonlight, far from the world of men. Hmm. The rocks. Then it says, enjoying myself at a sake shop in Kanawaga. Like a fish in the sea, this body of mine, cool in the moonlight. It says in the footnotes that the shop may be on the water by the coast. Because Kana, Kana Waga, Gaga. Enjoying myself at a sake shop in Kana Waga, Gaga, Gawa, Kana Gawa. Like a fish in the sea, this body of mine, cool in the moonlight. Usually you want your body to be cooled off, huh? It's, it's, it's comfortable for you to use your body. Easy. In Chinese medicine, your body, if you're not in inflammation or something, your body is cool. <laughs> right? When you're in good health, it's usually cool. If you don't have a fever. <laughs> But there's a sensation of coolness, not so much the temperature. Whatever. That's interpretation by the critics. <laughs> Who's a critic? Hmm. Who is a critic? No more water became an ivy, a bamboo drain. 
no more water, decaying in the ivy of bamboo drain. Huh? Yeah, was there a drought or? No, the decay. Does the bamboo preserve by water or and not by lack of water? So it's a drain. I just think of bamboo. They may use bamboo as a drain. What do you think? You get a pipe. They use them in many ways. There's actually inside. They use them as pipes. It's a bamboo really hollow, pipes. a drain pipe. <laughs> they add plumbing. <laughs> we don't know much about Japan. The advantage to this reading is they know so little of Japanese stuff. So it gives it a freshness, a lack of any knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I'm trying to make the the boisterous claim of lack of erudition. <laughs> that worm-eaten fan looks charming too. Then the first summer clothes. See that it has the dash. It has that worm-eaten fan looks charming too. Dash first summer clothes. I don't know how the haiku works. You're supposed to like have one idea than the other, and they're supposed to clash somehow, or not clash, but take together. It's one thought. It's one thought. It looks charming, the worm eaten fan looks charming. First yeah. summer clothes. <laughs> She's got her probably her first summer clothes out. Here she says, leaves of a palm stain just as they have been. Autumn comes to a close. But the leaves of the palm are just staying as they have been. They haven't changed. Autumn comes to a close. So what happened? They didn't. The leaves didn't change. Uh -huh. um, especially. You have to know uh, a lot about the. Uh, well, yeah, the palms. Maybe she's by the coast again. Oh. I don't know where she is. A market day in the hills. Hailstones ricochet off the horns of a cow. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. A market day in the hills. Hailstones ricochet off the horns of a cow. Can you imagine that? The hailstorm comes about. Mm. Now, do you think she's better or worse than she she Rojo? <laughs> she's more. Zen, she becomes more like a Zen practitioner. She has a. I don't know. A market day on the hills. Hailstones ricochet off the horns of a cow. Ricochet, they just bounce off like they hit the. Ricochet is like a, a bullet ricochets around the room, or like a ball ricochets off the walls. Ricochet. Bounce off. Bounce off. 
Someone's rag ball in the hedge. Plum blossoms fluttering down. Rag ball is probably a ball they play with. Someone's rag ball in the hedge. Plum blossoms fluttering down. Shaking sand off his. I just read it twice, I think. Someone's rag ball in the hedge. Plum blossoms fluttering down. Shaking sand off his bristly hair. A sumo wrestler who's lost the match. <laughs> hmm. Here, shaking sand off his bristly hair. A sumo wrestler who's lost the match. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But somehow the women didn't usually see the wrestling, but they do in non-formal setting, I guess. I don't know. Here it says clustered bush clover, the wheels of a carriage squeak in the moonlight. Clustered bush clover, the wheels of a carriage squeak in the moonlight. Spring departs, clothes hanging out to dry at a mountain villa. Is that a very heavy uh, piece? Uh, <laughs> why'd the critics raise her way up? <laughs> Springs depart, spring departs, clothes hanging out to dry at a mountain villa. Now it's a ordinaryism. Here it says, clap of a pheasant's wings as the string on my koto snaps and night falls. Clap of a pheasant's wings as a string on my koto snaps and night falls. Koto's like a guitar. It's a musical instrument. <clears throat> Blissfully lying under the falling blossoms, a skeleton. Hmm. Blissfully lying under the falling blossoms, a skeleton. An aged butterfly letting its soul play with a chrysanthemum. It's Old butterfly, an aged butterfly, letting its soul play with a chrysanthemum. Departing spring in a cluster of mugwort human bones. <laughs> Departing spring in a cluster of mugwort human bones. A bird far away, flying into the clouds, its belly white. Remember we read a poem something about a bird far away flying into the clouds, its belly white. And some other poet, like he sees the bird, he sees the white uh, the, from the belly of a bird or something, and it's flashing. May have been another poet, Basho or Fagio. <laughs> now she says, among the least interesting things to look at is an old woman. And on an evening that someone makes me ponder the past and the future, I mutter to myself, flowers of sorrow and bloom walking past my gate, a mirror polisher. Flowers of sorrow and bloom walking past my gate, a mirror polisher. Unchanging doll faces, I've had no choice except to grow old. I can't read it again, I'm out of time. We're reading from far beyond the field. Women Poets, Haiku Poets, Part 7. Hmm. We're reading, we're reading Seifu 